So this is James from JTP Machinery again. Um, just finished calibrating the Topcon X25 with auto steer in a Deutz M600. Uh, so all I've done is created a little circle in our front yard um, and the tractor will follow, so the auto steer will follow that circle that I've done. Um, at this stage it's jumped outside the line so it wants to create another circle on the outside, you can see it in red. So let's give it a go, I'll head back towards the black line in the middle which is my original circle and then we'll hit the auto steer. Um, as you can see the auto steer is red at the moment which means we're way off where we want to be. So I'll head towards that and you can see that it's gone white because it's got an option to choose one of these. Now I went red for a second, now we're white again which means we're on this circle so if I hit the auto steer button it'll go green. Now it's it's picked the line and the tractor is now steering itself. So we'll give her a little bit of speed. So obviously I'm not touching the steering wheel. And the tractor's going to do a lap on its own, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll see how close I, I did a lap past this other tractor we've got parked in the yard. Um, so we'll see how the accu accuracy is. Hopefully, we don't hit the bucket. go. Passed in exactly the same position. You can actually see the, the wheel track where it follows the same line. Pretty accurate actually. They don't make any promises of um, extraordinary accuracy. Well, I mean within 10 centimeters or something like that, but I've found, I haven't had a lot of experience out in the paddock, but I've found when I calibrated them, they're, they're actually pretty close. Um, so we just did a full circle and now we're going around for another one. So if I, if I bump this tractor out from, from this circle, it'll, I can override the steering, it's disengaged. Now, if I go out far enough, it'll create another circle. As you can see, there's another circle. If I hit the auto steer, it'll want to follow that one. But that's going to run me into the fence. So if I head back towards my original circle, it'll go, the auto steer will go wide again. I hit that, it pulls it around to it. You can see the steering wheel moving as it finds the line. Now it's found it, it's back on it. And it's going to steer us around it. So I was thinking, what's the point in going around in circles? Well, probably not a lot, except you can actually set the tractor up to do a repetitive task. Um, let's say you're feeding uh, silage or or, um, or some kind of feed mix out across the paddock. You can actually set it up so the tractor memorizes that lap that you do and exactly where you do it. If there was a feed pad or in a certain area where you feed, and you can just recall that job and repeat it. So you jump in the tractor, you can pretty much operate your um, trailer or your attachment, your feed cart, keep an eye on it while the tractor just steers itself around. Um, obviously, you, you've got to be in the seat. Um, anyway, that's, that's one job I thought of that you could probably use it for, um, other than obviously tram lines and your AB lines across paddocks to seed and so uh, to to sow or to um, plow or, or spray. You can see on this top con there's the little spray unit icon there too which we can set it up to control uh, ind in individual uh, solenoids on a spray unit to turn whole banks on and off uh, so that you you don't um, double up on your your spray on areas that you've already done. 
Um, anyway, I, I uh, this is all reasonably new to me, so there's a lot more to learn. Um, I've done a few of these systems now, and customers seem to really like them. Um, they're probably one of the better systems on the market. Wait, give us a yell if you're interested, JTP Machinery, and um, have a look at our website. Check out our tractors, we've got a few tractors on special. And uh, some lovely bike on haymaking gear. Thanks for your time.